Hey guys, my name is Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to port forward a Minecraft server except the lot easier. Now, the normal way to port forward a server is by going to Start Menu, typing in CMD, clicking Enter. Now you type in from here ipconfig. Now, this is not the way I do it, this is the normal way. Um, suddenly you scroll up here and you find your default gateway. Um, mine by default for Linksy's router is 192.168.1.1 and then you, sorry about that um, and then you usually go to your browser and you type in that default gateway 192.168.1.1 then you click enter now it will bring you up to this screen if you haven't been in it before and it will ask you for a password now um, the default password for my router is admin and then admin for the password but then when I try to do that, you know, it just pops up and it's like cancel 401, 401 unauthorized comes up. So now I'm going to show you an easier way to port forward without any password. So what you're going to want to do is you actually are going to want to type in, um, you know, start from the menu. So you're going to go, uh, you're actually going to hold down the Windows button and click R, which will bring you to this menu, okay? Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in CMD just like before. Oh my god. And then you're gonna want to type in again IP config. Now again you're gonna scroll up but instead of finding your default gateway, you're gonna wanna find your IPv4 address. Um so what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna right click, click mark. Then you're gonna wanna drag it over that IPv4. Then you're gonna wanna right click on that again. That should copy it for you. Um so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to your start menu. You're gonna go to computer. Now you're gonna go down to network. Okay, so now you're gonna right click on network infrastructure or infrastructure. <laughs> I didn't really say that word. Now you're gonna click on properties, right? Okay, so from here you're gonna click on settings. Let's see, I already have um, a Minecraft server right there. So, but now from here you're gonna go to add, then name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna name it. Um, and then at the um, IP address will be your IPv4 address, so you're going to just go control V, which will put it in there for you. Then the external port number will um, by default be 255, then again 25565. It's like that. You're going to leave that as TCP, and you're going to click OK. Now, you know, I already did this. Um, but my other Minecraft server, which is going to be up soon, by the way. Sorry about my voice, actually. Um, I'm sick right now. But anyways, yeah, I can't do it because I already have one. Uh, right there. Let's see. 25565. Um, alright. So that's how you port forward. Now, to apply this to your Minecraft server, you're going to want to go to your browser again. Then you're going to want to go to the Minecraft um, website. Then you're going to download, right? Then you're going to want to download this right here, minecraftserver.exe. So I'll just download that. Um, I'm just going to let it download. Taking a bit longer than usual because I'm recording. Usually it would be done by now. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of sick right now. I mean, I feel fine, but my voice is all screwed up. I no wonder what else I'm like in the video. Okay, so we're just about done that. Doing a body scan. Alright, so now you're just going to want to drag that out onto your desktop. Oh, excuse me. Now you're going to right click and you're going to click New. And you're gonna click the folder and you name it um, whatever you want. Uh, I prefer to name it mine. Oops, screwing up my typing. Draft. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Server. Enter. And you're gonna want to drag this um, server.exe into there. Okay. Now, if you didn't drag it down um, into the desktop like I I did, you just gonna go to computer downloads and then you're gonna find it in here 
Okay. All right. So now you're gonna open that up. And you're gonna run the game or run it. So click run. Right. Okay. So this is where it runs your server. Um. Yeah. I know it looks confusing, but uh, it's really not. I'm not gonna give you a tutorial on how to run a server today. Um. Or probably ever. But uh, they're easy to find. So now. Once this finished, you're not going to click the X button. You're going to click stop. You're going to type in stop. Okay? That'll shut it down normally. It'll save everything. It'll stop it um, normally. Okay. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go in server.properties. Now, if it is a little like notepad logo like that, all you're going to do is you're going to like, right click, open with. Uh, you're probably going to click browse, but then you're going to select notepad. Just click OK. Alright. So here's your server properties. Now you can do whatever you want in here. Except two things are mandatory. Server port, which is right here, you have to keep is 25565. That's default by Minecraft. Keep it like that. Now you see server IP, which is uh, right here, is blank. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to paste your IPv4 address in there, okay? That's it. Now you can mess it around, uh, you can do whatever you want, so if you want that little thing, you know, uh, uh, the MOTD, I'm not sure what, how to really describe it, so then, like, under the name of your server, you can change that to whatever you want. Um, now, you know, if you're changing anything that says false, and you want, so let's say, um, you want pe uh, people to be able to fly, right? Um, all you're gonna do is change that to true. There, a little server tutorial in there. But that's it. So, um, you want proof that that worked, right? So I'm gonna click Minecraft server. I'm gonna run the server. If you want, if people are gonna join your server, that has to be running, okay? Alright, so done. Now I'm gonna open up my Minecraft. Log in. If it would load. Okay, Forge Modeler is setting up your Minecraft environment. Alright. Right now I'm going to multiplayer. I'm just going to direct connect because I'm um, CI Shadow Server, Control B. There's uh, IP, join. Oh, maybe I should add it. Yeah, oh, well see, my other Minecraft server has the same IP, so uh, since I'm running this one, I'm technically running that one too, but here it is, so, right, if I join it, oh, it's lagging, Ooh. oh, look, look at this pretty world generation. Is that pumpkin? No, it's not pumpkin. I'm sitting in the back of my head. Alright guys, so that's how you make a um, Minecraft... Uh, ser that's how you port forward a Minecraft server without like entering any crappy stupid passwords or downloading anything. Um, remember to comment, like, subscribe, and tune in for my next